Hello! I am Zarkoon. This is World of Warships Legends. On the screen here, you see a ranked game played for us today by the Monk 52 I featured a few of his replays before on my channel, and I've divisioned with him quite a bit. He's a good player. I enjoy uh, working with him. He's got a YouTube channel of his own. I should have left a link in the description. Go over there and check it out after you watch this video. Now, this is a bit of an older ranked game. You know, it's from last season, and it's tier 5. Next season is going to be tier 6. Nevertheless, this is a fantastic demonstration of how to be effective in a battleship in the context of a ranked game. So, of course, ranked games are all domination mode games, and I've said it many times before. The destroyer is the most influential class of ships in domination mode. Why? Because they're stealthy, and that stealth allows them to secure capture circles, which provide a steady passive income of points to the team, and allow them to build those points up to a degree where they can overtake the enemy on points and win that way. And ranked battles, domination mode battles generally, are much more about securing capture points than they are about anything else. And the goal should always be to secure the majority of capture points. So there's three here. So what you want is for your team to secure two of them and to hold them for as long as possible. We've got one destroyer on the friendly team here. He is sailing into the Charlie cap and it looks like the enemy destroyer is there too. In fact, he's just appeared. Looks like both of them are the tier 5 French destroyer, premium French destroyer, Aigla. Very rare ship that I don't have in my port because the only way you can get it is by opening a lucky crate and apparently I have no such luck. Now, excuse the noise of my cat running around like a maniac. He always likes to do this. Maybe you heard a meow there. Say hello. Anyway, looks like the entire enemy team is making their way toward this Charlie cap and this Dallas appears to be harassing the destroyer. So, Monk takes him out for a devastating strike. First kill of the match. 28,300 damage. All of his hit points. First blood medal. All that. Excellent. Now, we've got the rest of the enemy team approaching. And that is composed mostly of battleships. Looks like three battleships, two cruisers. Queen Elizabeth giving broadside. Monk is angling away. And pay attention to what he does for the rest of this kind of sequence, this engagement, if you will. Because this is probably the most valuable thing he could have possibly done with his war spite. You see, he's angled away from the enemies, sailing away. He's presenting an angle, opening it up just enough to get all his guns on target. There's a shot at the Fuso. And then he's closing his angle again, so that when these guys return fire at him, his armor is angled and they do minimal damage. Meanwhile, they're giving him flat broadside for the most part. So all of his shots are much more effective. Now it looks like he's taking some chunk damage through the superstructure, and really the Queen Elizabeth is the biggest threat since it has 381 millimeter guns which are entirely capable of overmatching the bow and stern armor of the war spite. So it is important for Monk to maintain the angle and he is doing a good job and actually manages to dodge the majority of that salvo from the Queen Elizabeth. He has deployed a heal and he is continuing on his course. It looks to me like he is baiting pretty much the entire enemy team 
into chasing him this way, which is just about the most useless thing the enemy team could possibly do. And why is that? Well, you know, we've got the friendly Agla out there to the eastern border of the map. He's sending torpedoes their way. He did fail to take the Charlie Cap, but that's fine. The enemy destroyer doesn't look like he has gone toward either the Alpha or Bravo Caps. And the rest of Monk's team, besides the friendly destroyer, are all on that western side of the map. They've succeeded in securing Alpha, and it looks like they might have one cruiser or one ship standing between them and the Bravo Cap. So they do have a numerical advantage. I believe they're going to come out on top in that contest, and they're going to sink that ship and then move into Bravo. Meanwhile, the rest of the enemy team is busy wasting their time trying and failing to kill Monk. They, they're whittling him down, you know, but his position right now is useful in the sense that these guys have taken the bait and they're following him. Shooting at him, trying to sink him, is... Well, there goes one of them, actually, the Queen Elizabeth. And uh, I suspect a couple of her compatriots are not far behind. In any case, these guys are wasting their time. What they need to be doing is disengaging from Monk here. He is not in a position anymore to affect any of the cap circles. And by following him this way, these enemy ships are making sure that they are also not in a position to affect any of the cap circles. And they need to be if they're interested in winning, because as you can see on the minimap, the friendly team has secured Alpha, and they are in the process of securing Bravo. Any resistance to them is tied up here, shooting at Monk. Got a Nuremberg peeking around the corner. Hit him for one overpen. A little bit disappointing. Would have liked to see a devastating strike there, but that's just the way it goes sometimes with battleship caliber guns against broadside lightly armored cruisers. Looks like the Fuso is making a turn. Initially I thought maybe he was turning to try to go back to Bravo, but now I think maybe he's just turned to expose full broadside because he wanted to eat a citadel, maybe? Uh, Monk obliges him with a salvo from the two rear guns, and then follows up with a salvo from the front guns, which is a little bit less spectacular and unfortunate. Nevertheless, the parity between hit points between the two of them, or they're approaching parity in hit points between the two of them, and the Fuso is making it much easier for Monk to shave off more of his hit points than Monk is making it for him. And that's essentially the role of a battleship in uh, these domination mode ranked games. To be shot at and to take some hits in a way that doesn't put you in danger of sinking. In other words, angling. You want these enemy battleships to be shooting at you so that they're not shooting at your friendly cruisers. And then your cruisers can worry about the enemy destroyers. That destroyer, by the way, is still alive. It looks like he sailed all the way to the other side of the map to Cap Alpha. And Monk is about to take down the Fuso here. We do know the Nuremberg is up in the Charlie Cap, so that destroyer has no support. If the cruiser in Bravo wanted to, he could turn around and go hunt that guy down. Looks like Monk has this pretty well handled down here. That Fuso is almost dead. Monk is aiming the stern of his ship at the Fuso. With its 14-inch guns, the Fuso is not going to overmatch his armor. So, very safe move there. 
nice angling. And now the Fuso is coming as close as possible. Monk, I think, would really like to take him down so that he can then focus his attention on that Nuremberg. And indeed, the Fuso does go down for Monk's third kill. He's up to 161,000 damage thanks to his positioning here and the enemy is taking the bait. He's, tie he's tied down their entire team for the majority of this match. And now they do have two capture circles, but this Nuremberg... He's not going to be around for much longer, let's be real. He's going to sink very shortly. And then we're just going to have the enemy, Agla. Yep, there goes the Nuremberg. 171,000 damage done, 4 kills, nearly a Kraken. If Monk gets in range of this final enemy destroyer, then a Kraken is in the cards. But... Anyway, he's done a fantastic job. We'll just recap briefly what he's done. He's sailed over to this side of the map, baited the entire enemy team into wasting their time trying to kill him. All four of the ships that tried it failed, and they were killed by him instead. As a consequence, the friendly team held the majority of the capture circles for the majority of this game, Alpha was taken by the destroyer, but it's being flipped back into the hands of the friendly team. And it looks like this game is pretty much wrapped up with just over three minutes to go. So, incredibly effective use of the battleship as a solo player in a ranked game. The monk has carried this game for his team, no doubt about it. And the enemy team helped him out by wasting their time shooting at Monk. If you see a battleship that is kiting away from you, sailing out of position into a place where they aren't going to affect the capture circles like the Monk was doing, and you chase them in order to kill them, again, you are wasting your time. You are also taking yourself out of a position to affect the capture circles, and it's the capture circles that you need to win. The only ship on the enemy team that seems to be concerned at all about the capture circles is that enemy destroyer, who at this point now, since he's just flipped Bravo, has flipped all three of them at one point or another in this game. So, great effort on that guy's part. Of course, it's too little too late now. All, his entire team is dead. He's the only one left. He's got no hope of winning this game on points. The only thing he could do is kill all four of the friendly ships, but that's a pretty tall order for a single destroyer with only a little bit more than a minute left to go. Alas, there is one remaining question left to be answered in this game and that question is can the monk secure a kraken well we know the destroyer was most recently in bravo and in fact he's still pretty much right there he's spotted now so the monk is taking a shot from a long ways out 14 kilometers. Looks like his aim is pretty dang good, and he does hit the Agla, but only with a uh, shell or two, and doesn't look like he's going to be able to secure that kill before the time runs out. So, no Kraken, but 173,000 damage done in four kills in the War Spite B in a ranked game. Excellent use of the battleship in a ranked game. Fantastic game. Go check out Monk's channel in the description. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed it, and consider subscribing to me. Thanks. See ya.